Okay guys, quick intro. This is the uh, G42 NG Stealth Cam from Bushware. Um, it's the top of the range cam that they do. I've been saving up for one of these for a while. I've really wanted to invest in a good model of uh, wildlife cam, trail cam, stealth cam, whatever you want to call it. Something I could leave outside and just keep an eye at night on the local wildlife in my area. And the guys at Bushware have been good to me and I thought they deserved my custom. So um, they're the ones I bought it from. The camera itself is a no glow infrared. So there's going to be no light, light interference for the wildlife to pick up on. It has several settings between high def video and photograph. And then you've got custom settings that you can take up yourself. It's powered by 8 batteries, AA and uh, whenever you turn it on it gives you power indication and uh, all the details that you need um, at the time it locks away securely and has the capabilities of being padlocked um, if you need to be more secure a large band that would easily tie around a, lot, a tree comes with it. Last night, whenever I was setting it up, I didn't need that. And uh, Augie, Phil, sent me these wee bands, which just simply screw um, together. And they were brilliant for holding this to the, the bush uh, that the badger set was located at. So that's simply how I attached it last night. And that is the stealth cam from Bushware. An absolutely amazing piece of kit and I'm glad I invested the money in it because uh, you will see why shortly. Well guys it's 7 o'clock at night, um, it's starting to get a bit dusky so I'm out with the uh, stealth cam that I got from Bushware and uh, I'm taking it down to the Badger set, it's very close to where I live and hopefully with a few treats for encouragement we'll be able to get the badgers to show up on camera but first time using it so um, as much as I'd like it to work first time there's no guarantee okay I say lights disappearing quick we're at the set um, we're using the new uh, G42 NG stealth cam just which arrived this week and they're just newly onto the Bushware website. Um, not only does it take stills, it also takes HD film. Um, this is the strap that comes with it for attachment, which I think might be a bit big for where we're putting it. But these little metal braces, um, a good friend, Augie, Phil, sent these over to me, not knowing that it had the cam, and they're working out perfect. He's just simple unscrew and screw back together again. So I'll probably use those as attachments. Now, there's been a bit, bit of recent um, activity at the set. I'm just going to quickly show you that. So you can see all the recent activity just outside this set. Up here in the hedgerow over here as well and I say lights going so uh, I don't want to be here much longer don't want to disturb the badgers um, if they're coming out to feed um, I don't want to be leaving too much of a scent around so gonna get the trail cam up gonna get uh, the peanuts that we have out and we're gonna clear off and I'm working tomorrow morning so I'm intending getting up a wee bit early before work and come over and collecting it Well, there's the camera in place, stealth cam from Bushware, hidden in the hedgerow, beside the set, and spread out around here, there's a nice collection of peanuts, so here's hoping guys.
Well guys, uh, it's 6.30 in the morning, um, I have to be at work in an hour, so I get down to collect the trail cam before I go to work, which means I'm here bright and early and hopefully it's still here, but also means I'm not going to have a chance to check out whether I did or didn't get any footage on it. As you can see, just panning you around, there was a light ground frost last night. I don't know if that'll make a difference um, to the activity of the badgers or not. I know seasonally they should have young in the set, so um, they'll probably be heavily foraging. But uh, I suppose time will tell. And a wee bit better pan around in daylight. That's one set entrance. Another one with the well used path there. Fresh hair caught in the barbed wire. Another one. And then at the other side of this hedgerow, there's a few more. The Badger Trail. You can sort of make out the trail running down this field. It goes all the way to the reed bed crosses over a little stream and the larger set is in that hedgerow just ahead. So trail cam still here. Time to get it home. Time to get a coffee and go to work. Catch us all later. And it's definitely badger activity last night. There's been a lot of fresh scrapings, or as Jade calls them, snuffles. Um, unfortunately this is just to the other side of where I had the trail cam. So, badgers. Um, I might have to go home and actually read the instruction guide, because whenever I open this box up, it said 24. Now, there's an awful lot more scrapings there. I don't know whether that 24 means there's 24 uh, bits of footage on it or what. So, really, guys, uh, I have as much in a, as, as an aversion to reading instructions as most of us, but uh, sometimes it has to be done. And a few other scrapings. There's no other animals kept in this field. That hedgerow is where the set is. Another one. You can sort of make a trail running down this field. It goes all the way to the reed bed, crosses over a little stream. 